Here's a video, a very quick video, about gutting carbon and carbon-free skates. USD carbons. These skates are so good, but I never really managed to get into them. For some reason, I don't know, for some reason my right ankle never really liked this shell, whatever I did to them. Is always pressing me on the other side on the right side even on the left side somewhere around here and you have the bump on your ankle so i slowly reached the point when i thought i really want to skate these skates i want these boots because they are probably and they are i learned that they are very good boots so I started gutting them. This was the first one I did. This is a regular carbon shell. I want to show you. I want to go through very quickly how I do it. I'm not going to do it right here on the video because it takes about one or two hours and mm, I would say about 90 minutes to do one boot. If everything goes well. So here are the tools that I like to use. This knife. This is a thread sniffer. I have dozens of these because of the work I do. I work with, work with clothing. I make clothes. I sew clothes. Scissors. It's always useful to have a screwdriver and some pliers, whatever pliers will do. Okay, so I'm gonna have this extra flashlight here. Because sometimes it's just hard to see what's inside of the shell. I'm not going to take out the laces right now, but if you start Take up the cuff, take up the laces, take up the soles, and the first thing you do, you need to cut off the tongue. You normally just get in here, get underneath. I normally sometimes I just use the blade, get in here with the blade, and very slowly, very carefully, you start to cut away the connection. I'm going to show you how it's connected. I think it's stitched on and glued on. It looks like mostly glue. Yeah, there's a little bit of stitching, a little bit of gluing. But normally these, these parts need to come out, unless you want to have double tongues, which could be useful. But it's probably better to get rid of them. So, if your if the tongue is out, next thing you're gonna find a stitch, stitching, right here. Right here, I normally start with that one, cutting up that one. You're gonna have a few layers of foam. You normally do this cut first, then probably you could do a slit here, upward. And I normally start tearing stuff out you will find a stitch stitching right here in this angle i normally cut that up first then i make a not very deep cut up to this point 
but I don't I don't cut into the this upper area because I like to keep this so if you have this part cut out here normally go and go for this area I'm going to show it on the outer side this area this line that you need to start cutting and this is the most risky part of cutting because you don't want to punch through the outer fabric the outer layer this is fox leather so I recommend going quite carefully first and deepen it later I normally go in both directions that is why the screwdriver comes handy that when I start my first when I start um, deconstructing the first stitch I could just start prying off and get into the phone and start prying it off and that is when when you get some leverage on it you could go in with the plier you don't have to rip it you just start very slowly pulling this stuff out and the part and I normally take out this portion this heel portion first up to this stitch this portion but you're gonna have to cut the underlying foam that is underneath this foam because it's it's several layers of foam which is quite tricky but I normally take out this part first and as this part is out then I move on to the front because this boot this shell has a lining and you need to tear out all of that lining I'm gonna take out the shock absorber so it won't be in the way so if you got the rear part out you can move on to the front part very carefully start cutting out start making your cut here and this part this front part this top one really hard to reach this is the trickiest one and you, you really need to pull them like centimeter by centimeter now this part is you also need to start loosening the lining it's like a one millimeter lining I don't know look for it but it's really nasty this is the lining that I'm talking about but you really need to start um, pulling it out you should also have a vacuum cleaner and probably should be wearing at least a scarf but it's better to have a mask on so you don't breathe any of this foam junk in I bet that's a good idea The most crucial part is when where you really need some force is when this toe box area this part in the front is stuck in you need to start pulling it out slowly carefully and you need to make sure that your cut is there along this this line If you got the lining out you could move on you could leave this part in this foam but it takes a lot of time to get rid of the inner part of this padding because it has two layers and I normally only remove the inner layer it's sort of difficult because mostly in these areas 
You see the corner is here. It's really hard to turn it out. And it's quite easy to <clears throat> mess up the the eyelets. I think I probably messed up one, but it still works. So I personally like to keep this from supper padding in for more comfort and support. In, you will also um, lose some some um, space in the boot because this will if you put in liner here this thing will push you will push you almost like a few millimeters forward into the boot and if you want to absolutely save the room you cut out this outer part from this foam this upper foam padding like around here you could cut this out or thin it down with scissors so you would have the maximum space in the boot so i had to do some very minor modifications to the ufs receiver or whatever it called the t-nut ball thing because i had to file down the edges because i was feeling the edges But since I filed it down, it doesn't really cut into into my foot. After you have this cleaned out, you can start heat molding. If you use a heat gun, you could only heat certain parts of the boot where you feel there's pressure if you want with. You only heat it here and it's probably a good idea to take out the laces and only heat it on the inside. Also, you could use a soldering iron if you don't need the 45 degree straps. There's gonna be that metal T nut on the inside. With a soldering iron, the glue will give. It's stuck there by adhesive. And if you need it, you could just pry it out. Yeah, so this was the quick version of how to gut a carbon boot. There's no way to teaching this. You need to really get to it. Be careful. Consider your cuts and your moves. I would like to say thank you to Justin First Day, who has two videos on this topic. Both of them are quite long videos. I just wanted to make my own. Check out his. His recent one is about 50 minutes, if you have the time, it goes into detail about all the steps. Yeah, so that's how you, at least how I got carbon skates. Have fun.